But in the meantime, let's talk about this. Let's bring in Jordan and Dr. Swanton. Thank you so much for being here. Um, very tough topic, but we want to get it strategies is. for parents. Well, first and foremost, I think, you know, these stories highlight a couple of things. The forces are inundating kids in different ways, right, mm -hmm. with the 13 reasons why, and even the second season launching. I mean, I'm sitting here with a study that was published last week or an article in Pediatrics, the journal for pediatricians that are 13 things you know about, you need to know about the show, mm -hmm. right, because there are so much going on where teens are looking at. There's great data that even after the show launched last year, for example, searches in Google went up 1.5 million times, 26% more searches on how to commit suicide. Wow. So media influences, social media, regular day-to-day -day interactions that kids and teens are experiencing. There's lots of pressure for them to learn about it, think about it, but we're not doing so good when it really comes to thinking how are we listening to them and helping identify. This mm -hmm. program for the University of Washington is incredible, as is a standard now that all primary care doctors in the state are being trained in a full day training on how do we take care of patients and families mm -hmm. who are suffering from suicide ideation um, and, and thinking about this issue and really getting into it with those numbers. I was actually just talking to Michelle earlier. I was like, do you think shows like this are making it worse or making it better since we're talking about that? Do well, you have I any idea? I mean, I think pediatricians are really <laughs> nervous about this show. You know, we think this is completely inappropriate for anyone under 13. Yeah. And thereafter, you really want to think carefully, you know, how, who is your child? Are they at risk for copycat type behaviors? There's good documentation, even, you know, like even literature back in the 18th century that copycat suicides will come out of that. Mm -hmm. So this proliferation of those graphic scenes. And there's good data that documents how do we talk about this in media and how not to. Graphically showing suicide is not the way to do that, right. right? And then the other thing is, how are we focusing on mental health? How is a child's mental health versus um, really thinking and focusing on the external forces in a child's life that lead to suicide ideation or that idea of thinking about it? So instead of talking about the external forces only, really being careful to make sure we're talking about the mental health challenge. You know, we know now the American Academy of Pediatrics is now urging all pediatricians and family doctors to screen every single child starting at age 12 and up every year for depression. Mm. Really be more strategic and systematic about making sure we're asking and we're intervening. And the other thing that the media I think does poorly in this show is that, you know, they're showing in this storyline, right, that suicide was the end result or the only way she saw. Right. That's mm. never the answer, right? right? right. And, and the other thing that's been left out of this dialogue, and I, I can't not mention it, is that ultimately we know, for example, you're more likely to end your life if you have access to a firearm in your home. Mm. Right. So one of the things that parents and families can do when thinking about suicide ideation, that idea of thinking about suicide, make sure you're really checking with your kids on what they're watching. If they're mm -hmm. watching 13 Reasons, you need to be watching it with them. And if they're at risk, you need to really be thinking about how you're talking about why not to do that. And then secondary, if there is a firearm, get it out of the home or make sure that it's locked in a safe or and separated from ammunition. Great. Those, are, those are great tips. We're out of time, but I do have one question that I have to yeah. ask because the number one, the leading cause of death for 10 to, to 14 to 14 that's right suicide right. so if you're not supposed to have that conversation or screened until you're 12 yeah. what do you recommend to oh, well parents? if you, yeah. yeah and this yeah. is again bubbling up that conversation if you ever have a concern about your child that is depressed you ever have a concern about thoughts any journal entries any inklings any post on social media you go right in and get support from a psychologist at school or a pediatrician and start the conversation do not Wait. Don't wait. Yeah, don't Good. Wait. I mean, this Swanson, is a serious thing. It is. Very serious. Epidemic. Don't wait. Yeah. Follow your gut instinct. It's a hard conversation. Use your healthcare providers to help you with it. Right. We're used to it, and we're trained to help and support you.